Hi, it's M again, and this time I'm trying to show you what crafts I did in the last, well, about a month, I guess. Um, so, this is sort of what it is in total. Uh, so, the, um, the winter craft pods, this uh, two projects, then what I'll be doing next craft pod. And then a uh, bullet journal, a uh, bracelet, uh, and diamond painting. So, uh, quite a few things. Uh, first, let's go to uh, stitched um, flower plant. <laughs> uh, it has mostly satin stitches or like regular short stitches but these ones are in 3d i don't know if you can see but they look um uh, they are done twice over to get some different shapes and to give them some definition so that you could see that uh they are different uh small things white uh then just you know dots uh, of color and I glued it back to the hoop as the instruction said so this one is pretty finished like totally ready to be hanged somewhere but I don't think I will <laughs> it's not something that I really really um, need in my house at least not in this house maybe maybe someday if I have a bigger flat uh, this is a fox I'm not entirely sure if it looks like a fox. <laughs> um, the, the ears are sort of flat, don't really want to sit straight. Um, I'm not... Well, I'm proud I did it. I'm proud it... Um, it is, you know, 3D. Uh, but I wish it were a little bigger, like two millimeters, really not much bigger. It's just, it would be so much easier to stuff the legs um, and to make it stable this way because it sort of doesn't feel totally stable here. Uh, the snowflake here and here, uh, not entirely perfect. As you can see, there is some kind of, not entirely, uh, there and well, I like the eyes. I have to say I'm quite proud of the eyes uh, that I did. They look super cute. Uh, this white thing here, I know, just does kind of look like it's tie uh, that some animals have, but not too happy with it, definitely. And the white ending of the tail looks okay. To me at least. Uh, I'm glad I did it. I've learned something new. Maybe uh, next things will be much easier for me because of that. Uh, so yeah, it is a nice thing to put somewhere. Just you know not something you can really really <laughs> go and show and see look what a wonderful thing I made. It's not wonderful it's it's okay but uh, yeah some of the threads are already unraveling so yeah, congratulations on my skills uh, in sewing. So the next craft pod that I'll be doing, it will be the spring one. Uh, and these, this will be uh, applique. So a bit of sewing, a bit of stitching, uh, like satin stitches or something like that. Looks interesting. And the other thing will be... Uh, I think the needle uh, cushion or pin cushion. Uh, so again, something in 3D. So I hope this goes better than the fox, just because I've learned something uh, making the fox. Uh, so this should go uh, much better. Hopefully, I'll just have to, uh, you know, channel my inner Bernadette banner here and uh, to do it. Of course, as usual, everything is prepared for you in the craft pod. The new ones, as far as I know, they've been sent this week. So 
the autumn one of 2019 should be here quite soon and everything is there for you you've got your floss uh this sort of wool i guess uh the fabric for the applique uh the needles the hoop the tea there were also uh stickers that looked very much like uh this bird thing uh what's it what it is this the, there were those uh, trees uh i think the the plant here the bird as well so not quite nice stickers i might use them for my bullet journal to sort of make it uh pop a little bit and be different than all the others so cool ah the bracelet sort of decided to <laughs> roll itself out of the picture uh this is a kumihimo bracelet um it's great <laughs> i mean it's not totally finished yet i still have to attach the clasp uh here uh this this will be the magnetic clasp uh, so uh it should go very well for me because i uh, i don't like those clo uh, lobster clasps so this one should work for me really well it's super fun to make quite easy um maybe not super fast because i think it took me like three episodes of a TV series, so I guess two hours and a bit. Um, it took me much longer to uh, thread the beads onto this nylon, I think it is nylon thread, because it tended to sl um, split. Uh, luckily this week, last week, a few days ago, <laughs> Um, my order for the Rosetta uh, cal came and uh, in it there came wax to wax all the threads and I did that it helped immensely so if you ever have problems with threading uh, beads onto a nylon cord wax is your place to go because it really helps it didn't help too much with the ones that already uh, split uh, but uh, the ones that I hadn't done a uh, fantastic job so oh i lost the tape here i i need to sort of make it safer uh but the bracelet itself really great to make looks uh very nice so i'll definitely be doing the other one that i bought um and i will probably be ordering some more things from uh that company they're called bidaholic uh because yeah they make fantastic things and uh yeah, even someone who's not really uh, talented in any kind of jewelry making ways, uh, you're still able to do it. It's M um, approved. It is easy. Uh, so yeah, the bracelet. That's another thing that I made. And the bullet journal. I showed you last time a little bit uh, what I was doing. Uh, and what I've learned is that I decided to make one day per page uh, apart from the weekends. Weekends, I don't have a lot to do at weekends, so I've left quite a lot there. Uh, but still, I had some space for notes that I weren't really I wasn't really taking them. Uh, and uh, yeah, some days I did use the notes. Some days it was just fully empty uh, page. Uh, the problem is sort of that I have days when I have a few classes and I need a lot to prepare and I have, uh, you know, a lot of private lessons and there are days when I have like two lessons only uh, at school. Uh, so it's sort of difficult to predict, or at least it was during this month. Um, October I decided to... Uh, experiment a bit. I've done the calendar but I haven't filled it too much yet. Uh, I need to check some lists. I still need to like um, use black markers to write things down. And I decided to do, uh, first of all, try doing two days uh, on one page and also uh, sort of make some space for quizzes if uh, I uh, will do it on the next lesson, on if I should do it this lesson, and then there's this arrow 
uh, going downwards and what homework I'm setting for uh, next time and what homework they should have this time because I have terrible problems with memory I don't remember um, where I set what homework and what I should check uh, whether the quiz was supposed to be now or not yet so uh, I have to take those notes uh, and well that leaves a little less space for the topics um, I need to write the topics down as well because sometimes either the computer doesn't work or something's wrong with the e-register uh, and then I'll still have to put those uh, topics um, and I will forget after you know a week or two I will forget what I did when um, so it goes like that uh, for now uh, we'll see how it goes for the month um, I don't really know for how long this bullet journal will um, be able to last me I think uh, well, definitely October, November, probably December as well. I don't know about the second semester. Um, the next one that I have is bigger. So definitely two days will go on to one spread. And I will have also more space for note taking. Because here I don't really have a space for any other additional notes. Uh, this is what I will have to solve somehow uh i don't know maybe do it like um three days per like a two-page spread and then some space for notes for those three days <sighs> yeah i will have to think about it but uh, for now i really uh quite like uh doing this bullet journal uh the only problem is that i like colors and i can't really take all the colorful pens with me to work for example so like, like I really have to do it at home and uh, sometimes I you know have some free time at work so I could do it then but I really can't and there's the pacing guide that I'm trying to uh, fill in from time to time uh well the only thing that sort of really helps is this one here because these are the classes that use the same book they have the same amount of hours so I can really see if I'm going more or less equally with them and as you can see the zero <laughs> units ends here in one class and here in the other so right now I know that with this class something is going a bit more slowly than with uh, the others and then uh, this class and this class, the first one, will have the same book as well. So I will be able to compare um, how they're doing and if it's more or less the same tempo uh, for everyone. I will have to change it because I've just received a new group to teach. Um, so I'll just have to make space for them. So I guess I'll have, I will like stick a page onto here or just move the pacing guide somewhere uh, and do it there to yeah allow for the other um the other class the other group it will be the same group as here like two hours per week uh and starting totally from the beginning so there goes my bullet journal uh when it comes to like any spreads or something um I'm trying to make it simple for now so well it is different from September because September was brown and this one is like purple blue and uh, this these letters were like really thin and some let's say they they had some shape these are more like bubble letters and that's basically it I mean I, I write the days of the week in this sort of palette color palette uh, of the month but other than that so far I'm not doing any collections or anything like that I'm trying to make it a bit more like a professional bujo uh, not so much private one that's why I didn't want to have all those collections in here because I wouldn't like my students I don't know to see them or anything and you know I'm just um, still worried if this habit will stick um, so I don't want to give myself too much to do and I've already <laughs> managed to rip out uh, this loop for the pen 
it's gone already. It's been just a little over a month of using the bullet journal, but it's gone already. Okay, and the last thing, uh, diamond painting. I did do something, uh, not as much as I had hoped, mostly because I was lazy <laughs> and also because um, for the last few weeks I was um, not working on that and I kept it like this and because it's been like this yeah, for quite a long time some diamonds around here just fell out, so I had to refill those, so it took some time. And then I think I did about this part, since, yeah, I think those two I did. Um, so, yeah, not too much. I really, really was hoping that by the end of summer, like real summer, not the summer that I was doing my, my plans. I would, if not finish the whole diamond painting, at least finish this row and I still have some to go. I mean, I am over the half of the painting, uh, but I really was hoping I would be much, much further. So I will have to focus on that, even though I have a new thing coming from crocheting. I have some things to do with cross stitch. Uh, actually, I'm doing a lot of cross stitch and crochet, uh, but I really, really, really need to step up my game here and just try and do it more often. Maybe, maybe let go of the kumihimo and craft pods for a, for a while, uh, just so I can really, uh, yeah, by the end of. October, I think I should let uh, the shop know about my diamonds so that they manage to send me before Christmas. I mean, if the only um, diamonds that I'm missing are just the ones that I had been missing from the start, uh, so like this sort of shape. I don't really know if you can see this. Uh, there is a triangle. Yeah, you can see those here, that you can see the symbols. There aren't too many of those, uh, to be honest. Um, so even if they sent it to me like, I don't know, two weeks before Christmas, I will manage to finish the diamond painting, matte it, um, or just use some glue over it to, to make it a bit more stable. Possibly not frame it, but I'm not sure about framing because I don't know how I would give it to my uh, cousin yet. Maybe I would just roll it out. Uh, so, you know, but, but yeah, by the end of October, I should really be finishing this one. Uh, just to let them know that, yeah, I only really need those diamonds and please send them as far as soon as possible. Uh, then I have two diamond paintings still to make. They've already came. Yeah, they came last year when I was super uh, interested in that. Now it's not as much fun because my back hurts after sitting at it for a longer while. Plus it takes, uh, well, basically all my coffee table. So I can either do diamond painting or put something else into work on my desk. Well, the coffee table ser serves as my desk. So um, it's not as much fun as other things that I'm doing. But yeah, I have to keep at it, you know, bite my teeth and, and just go and do it. It starts looking really nice. I mean, it, it does like sparkle. Uh, and it has a nice Christmassy feel and some kind of magic that I like about it so yeah i hope next time we see each other when it comes to, when it comes to craft tube this row will be finished totally yeah it will be in a month so by the end of october so this row has to be finished and i should be in at least half of this last row let's make that sort of a promise um because it worked during the summer. I want to make it official. I want to go as far as I can and get somewhere here. Well, no, this is not the half here. <laughs> uh, 
uh, when it comes to the third row. So that's I'm really, really close to finishing uh, and giving it to my cousin as a present for Christmas this year. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time. Please consider liking the video and subscribing uh, just to see me going on with my crafts. Bye!